All right, today we're going to graph absolute value inequalities and use their graph to determine solutions to the inequality. So let's start by graphing an absolute value equation, which you should already know. We're going to start at negative 2, negative 6. That's based on our H and K. And then since A is 1, we're going to go up 1 over 1 on both sides of our V. And the problem asks, what are the solutions? And remember that solutions are the same thing as x-intercepts. So our solutions to that equation are x equals 4 and negative 7. So now let's try an inequality. We're going to still start off by using a, h, and k. a is negative 1, h is negative 1, and k is negative 5. So we're going to plot our points, negative 1, negative 5. And then since our slope is negative 1, we're going to go down 1 and over 1 on each side. Now, before we connect our dots, we need to look at the inequality. Since this inequality is just greater than, we need to use a dotted line for our graph. And then the next thing we need to do is shade our graph. This says y is greater. Well, where are the y's greater than this graph? Well, above the graph. So we're going to shade everything above the v. So that's our graph. So let's pick a point. I'm going to choose the point 0, negative 5. Is 0, negative 5 a solution to the inequality? So if we go to 0, negative 5, or actually let's do negative 6, sorry. We're right here. That point is along our dotted line. Therefore, it is not a solution. So, something that would be a solution would be anything in this shaded area. So, let's say the point 3, 1. So let's look at another example. y is less than or equal to 2 times the absolute value of x minus 1 minus 3. So we're still using a, h, and k. So we're going to start at 1, negative 3. And then since a is 2, we're going to go up 2 over 1 on both sides of our v. It's a solid line this time because it has the or equal to line below it. So just greater or just less is a dotted line or a dashed line. And greater than or equal to and less than or equal to is a solid line. So now we need to look at our equation for which way to shade. It says where the y's are less 
than that graph, well, the y's are less, less below the line, so we're going to shade the outside. So let's test and see if the point 2, 5 is a solution. 2, 5 is right here. That is not a solution because it's not in the shaded area. Something like 3, 1 is a solution because it's on a solid line. So if it's on the solid line, it is a solution. If it's on a dotted line, it's not a solution. That's all on graphing absolute inequalities, absolute value inequalities. See you in class tomorrow.